Are you sure you want to go to this party? I heard that Freddy will employ nude models and waiters. You need to calm down, Prince. It's not like we are going to a nude beach. We are going to a party, and I'm sure Freddy can't do that in 2023. I hope I don't see any, because if I do, I may get a little weary, to say the least. I know what you're talking about, and that is just malarkey. You're not going to this party to just make yourself feel good. These nude waiters are the least of my concerns. I'm worried that Brittany may not be as sane as I thought she was. Come on, I'm sure that she isn't that bad. You're only saying that because you made out with her on stage. There's an obvious difference between kissing and making out with someone. I'm going to ask you this one last time, Prince. Can you please come to the party? I don't want you to miss out. And I'm going to tell you this one last time. I'm not going to accompany you to this party. It is crucial to acknowledge that excessive reliance on partying as a source of happiness can lead to shallow experiences, dependency, and even detrimental consequences. Okay, Prince, you seem very tired. Were you recording all day? Of course I was. I was playing all the instruments by myself, and trust me, my new album will be my best work yet. Yeah, on your 100th album. Well, this is what productivity looks like instead of making out with other musicians and playing with little kids looks like. Okay, I have enough of you already. Can you just go to bed? What, but I am still wide awake. You are speaking not... Just shut your trap. Close your eyes Come and on, go to sleep. Come on, this is very unfair. Hello? Mikey boy, how's it going? Please call me Michael, but I'm doing well, I guess. We are currently in Minnesota, but we are hopping on a plane headed for Britain in a few hours. I'm pretty sure that someone like Prince isn't coming to my party, am I right? Before I became friends with Prince, I thought I was shy, but man, that guy is a workaholic. I think the only time he goes out is with us or to get more drugs. Let's not do the drug talk on tapped lines. I don't want you to get thrown into the slammer. It's not as bad as you think the prisoners are very nice. Yeah, I don't believe that, man. I'm sure you dropped the soap plenty of times and they are forcing you to say that. That's definitely not the case at all. But I'm excited for the party tomorrow. Do you have anything special planned? I was going to say that we would have nude strippers, but let's just say we live in a censored world. It's not the 20th century. We are living in progressive times. Well, maybe if you tell Prince that he could come with us. Oh, wait, he'll probably make another excuse not to come. One thing I learned about Prince is that he is adamant. I don't want to pay him if I swear. Don't tell him anything I say. Oh, he is a working man. A working man that has no time for parties, friends, and fun. I don't think we will see much of him until he completes his next album. Oh, we'll tell him I wished him the best. I'll see you tomorrow, Freddy. See ya, man. By the way, don't tell Madonna about Cher. She already knows her very well. She knows her well like she was her annoying older sister. Well, she will be at the party tomorrow, so don't say a word about her. All right, I promise I won't say a word about Cher to Madonna. What did you say about Cher? Nothing. Nothing at all. Now I think we should get something to eat, and we'll be on the plane by two in the morning. Now, what are you really coming to Freddy's party for? You really didn't know him that well. I can say the same thing for you, Michael. Freddy died years before you, and what I heard is Freddy stopped collaborating with you because of a camel. It was a llama, and that is mostly true, but he kept partying in my house when I was out of town. How am I not surprised this happened? Freddy is something I would call a party saurus. But like I asked you before, why are you going to his party? Well, I'm curious about Brittany if I am being honest with you. But if we happen to make new friends there and have a good time, that will be amazing. I don't want new friends. What I need is something else. What do you need, Madonna? I need to pull myself a young one. I'm sorry you do realize I'm Michael and you're Madonna. Not the other way around. Shut up. I'm not talking about a ten-year-old. What I need some young man to enter my life for two reasons. One, to get back at Cher. And two, to have fun until the cows come home. Why can't this man be someone your own age? Well, if Cher can get away with dating some 37-year-old, I think I would be able to do the same exact thing, but better. They aren't dating. They actually got engaged. Holy shit. I guess she is serious about this, but it's whatever. The first man I lay eyes on is the one I'm going home with. And how are you planning on doing that? Bitch, I'm Madonna. I can pick up anyone and anything. You're one of the few that hasn't fallen under my spell yet, even though I would rather that not happen, Mr. Plastic Surgery.
Can you not? Fine. We have a long flight to Britain. I think we should get some sleep. We have a long night ahead of us. That sounds like a great idea. Besides, if we keep talking like this, one of us is probably going to strangle the other. Yeah, let's avoid that. See you when I wake up. Night. If someone told me that British people all sat down to drink tea at noon every day, I would have laughed my socks off. But after seeing it really happen, it makes me feel very creeped out. Can you believe our Uber stopped in the middle of the highway to brew tea for us? That was just weird. One time I stopped a concert to toss free tea at my fans. All I'm going to tell you is that it got into someone's eyes and I had a giant hole in my wallet. Do you have a thing for eavesdropping other people's conversations? When you are in front of my house, of course I do. Can we come in? Of course. Sadly, not that many people came, but I still hope you have a great time. I have some white wine and vodka prepared. You can find snacks in the cabinets. Wow, I feel very underwhelmed. Yeah, I guess that's understandable. Um, I have to go use the loo. I will be back in a bit. He seemed pretty embarrassed. I thought more people would be here. Don't worry, I'm sure that I will be able to find someone to take home with me. If you in, oh my gosh, it's Brittany. Oh, here we go. Michael, is that really you? What are you doing here? Well, Freddie invited me and Madonna, so I thought I would um, come and have me. some fun. I wish there were more people here, but I'm glad you came. That's all that matters to me. Oh, how sweet. So how has your life been? Prison. Excuse me? I meant to say perfect. I sadly went through a divorce last week, but I think this is the perfect opportunity to go out and mingle again. Well, I'm happy for you then. I'm kind of readjusting to my life before I died. With the drugs and plastic surgery? Well, everything except for that, of course. And Conrad Murray is thousands of miles away from me, so I will be in better hands. I'm sure they aren't the best of the best, but that's cool. Want to go take a seat? I think we have a lot to catch up on. Of course. Target acquired. Hi, I'm Madonna. You are the real Madonna. I didn't think I would meet any other musicians today. This is a true honor. Usually when people meet me, they either make fun of my plastic surgery or how I fell off, so thank you. I mean, it is pretty bad. We aren't making fun of you if it's true, Madonna. At least I'm not a dude. Oh my goodness, you are Cher. What are you doing here? Well, to have fun, of course. I didn't think I would meet a charming young man like you today. What's your name, good man? I am the Diamond Minecart, but you can call me Dan TDM or just Dan. Well, you know both me and Madonna, but hey, we should go into the bedroom for some privacy. Just to chat, Freddy said we could go anywhere we like. Why the bedroom? I heard that Dr. Treoris is in there, and he is waiting for you. How do you know that? I just know. Come on, how are you believing her bullshit? Whoa, keep it kid-friendly, but it is no problem if I go in and check. Thank you, now let's go see him. You think you are so smart, don't you? I don't think I am. I know I am. I have a lot more life experience than you will ever dream of. You're only 12 years older than me. You're only 12 years older than me. That little cheating brat. She's going to pay for this. I was like Captain Sparkles. What kind of name is that? Of course I'm not going out with you. Maybe pick a more mature name first. What is he even the captain of? I don't know. Maybe he is the captain of Rainbow Land? I think that fits him nicely. So how has your dating life been? Hopefully I'm not prying too deeply. I'm just looking for the right person. Someone who can understand me like I understand myself. I understand you. Brittany, what are you talking about? Hey, do you guys want to come with me to my arcade room? We can have Pac-Man playoffs. Pac-Man playoffs? That sounds both fun and unrealistic. What are the stakes, Freddy? Well, whoever has the highest amount of points doesn't have to chug down a bottle of mayo. Are you paying us or what? No, of course not. Just go and talk to Madonna or Cher or even that blue-haired man. God, I'm losing it. As I was about to say, I think you want someone that will always stick by you but won't be a burden on your career and ambitions. You're getting there. I can also see that you want someone to go the whole way with. I really want that, but why are we talking about this? Do you have a thing for me? I don't know. Maybe. I think we have a lot to talk about, but do you really want to do it here? We are at a party. Maybe we can settle this over a date night back in the States. Well, I think there is only one more thing we should do. Which is? Drink like there is no tomorrow! 
Treoris, what are you doing here? And why were you in one of Freddy's bedrooms all by yourself? Huh. Well, you should have told me you were here. Is he always like this, teleporting into random men's bedrooms? I thought he stopped that a long time ago, but I guess he still needs to learn a lesson or two. Huh. Um, who the hell is this? Is that Squidward? No, this is a doctor translator. Treoris. That is a funny name. He looks like a villager from Minecraft. Where did he even get his license from? Princeton. Wow, that is a fine establishment. Good for you. Huh. Anyway, what were you two doing in there? Well, we were just talking until we found Trey in the closet. Yeah, talking. Is something wrong? Yeah, you're a fucking guy and you're engaged and you're trying to pick up this man that is half a century younger than you. What the fudge? What? You are doing the same exact thing, and I am not a man, and I don't care that I'm engaged or not. I'm going to sleep with any man I want. You're cruising for a bruising share. Not before I knock your bitch ass out. Stop it. Stop it. The both of you. Sorry. Do you really think I want to sleep with you guys? I am married, and I have two kids. Well, who said I gave a fuck? You were planning on having sex with me. Oh yeah, right. I'm not here to cheat on my wife. I'm here to have a fun time with my best friend and get to know some people. You are both horrible people that rely on sex to keep you going on a day-to-day -day basis. That isn't true in the slightest, Dan. Keep my name out of your dirty mouth. I'm out of here. Come on, Traoris. <sighs> this isn't over, you motherfucker. I'm out of here. Come on, guys. Why are you leaving so early? We are just getting started. Talk about a tough crowd. Did you have something to do with this? What, of course not. Why would I do this to you? Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry, Madonna. I just feel like I don't have what it takes to be the entertainer I was so many years ago. It wasn't your fault at all, Freddy. I am sure they're just busy. But half the party leaving at once, I honestly doubt it. They were probably bored. Fuck, I really messed up, didn't I? Freddy is devastated. Maybe I should tell him the truth. Freddy, listen. I'm going to bed. You guys can stay until morning if you want, but I'm done with today. Thank you for coming, and I'm sorry if this wasn't the party you were expecting. Okay, thank you, Fred. Is the party already over? I thought we were only just starting. I'm not even wasted yet. What's with the abrupt end? Well, I kind of made Sharon Dan leave, and Freddie thought it was his fault. Well, I think we should get going, but good news, me and Brittany are going on a date. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. I wish I could stay with you, but I have to go back to my hotel immediately after the party. Why is that? Just don't think about it. Can I take you there? No, that wouldn't be a good idea. Is it because of your daddy issues or what? I don't know what you're talking about. Brittany. I should get going now. I need to get back to my hotel. Sorry, goodbye, guys. Bye. Well, this party was a waste of time. Freddy is depressed as can be. Cher hates me more than ever, and I pissed off the man I wanted to go home with tonight. There will always be more parties and more friends to make. Now how about we go back to our hotel and make plans for tomorrow? We don't go back to the States until the day after tomorrow. I have the perfect idea. It will knock your socks off. I can't wait. 